If you've been paying attention to the 3D printing world, you might know that dental labs are among the most advanced users of 3D printing out there. To walk us through this landscape, to give us some insight into how dental users employ 3D printing, we have Jamie Stover, who is Carbon's Senior Manager of Dental Lab Applications. Jamie, it's great to have you with us. Ah, thank you. It's great to be here. I'll, I'll, I'll show up anywhere where uh, experts in the title and I can be uh, considered one. So happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we have you. So tell us a little bit about how 3D printing is used in dental applications. Well, you know, surprisingly, there's there are quite a few. Uh, the most widely used applications are models, uh, printed models for cases originating from interoral scanners. Another uh, pretty popular application is surgical guides, so printing surgical guides for CAD CAM guided implant surgery. One of the latest and probably the most impactful that we'll probably spend a little bit of time talking about here today is printed dentures and night guards. Uh, dentures and night guards are traditionally done from acrylic. It's a very labor intensive process and uh, being able to print those applications has been a game changer in our industry. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what 3D printing is replacing. What did these processes look like before they got digitized? The dental lab industry has, it's, it's really undergone a couple of digital transformations. And the first digital transformation was a decade or so ago. And it, it changed the way that the fixed side of the industry fabricated restorations. And by fixed, I'm referring to permanent restorations like crowns or bridges that are cemented into the patient's mouth. And uh, then, then the second wave of digital transformation of our industry is actually happening currently. Um, it's changing the way that the removable restorations, such as dentures and night guards are fabricated. And like I said earlier, you know, traditionally these are, these prostheses are fabricated by skilled technicians who perform many, many labor intensive steps by hand. And it's time consuming, expensive, and it's really impossible to scale. So the development of new resins for these applications is it's allowing us in labs and in the lab industry to transfer the fabrication to you know, digital design software and an additive, uh, you know, a 3D printing technology. It's really bringing improved production throughput and uh, I mean, positive economic impacts from the reduction of labor required. Tell us a little bit about what the 3D printing technologies need to be able to accomplish to be successful in dental labs. You know, if you think about the fact that each restoration a dental lab fabricates, it's a bespoke product. I mean, meaning it, 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 it's a, it's a one-off completely custom product that only fits in one patient's mouth one way. And dental labs have to do this at scale and they also have to be profitable. And there's also relationships they have to manage with their clients. These products, they must also be you know, biocompatible, FDA approved to be safe for use in a patient's mouth, and they need to be strong and aesthetic. So a lot of demands, I mean, the challenges are uh, endless and uh, 3D printing is such an efficient and accurate production method. It allows labs to check all of these boxes for their production. A real challenge in the dental lab industry and one that I'm very familiar with uh, is hardware obsolescence. It's a major hurdle for labs. The typical in use life is less than you know two to three years for most of this equipment. Carbon subscription model provides, we provide smart hardware, it really. It's, it's constantly improving over time with software updates. So the printer you get on day one is actually better a year later. Carbon printers are also proactively monitored and we can uh, identify components that may fail and replace them before they do. So unplanned downtime is almost non-existent. When you are transitioning from analog to digital processes, you're moving people into those processes and the applications that you're producing and providing to your dentists and the patients, they change. So if that equipment goes down, it's a, it's a workflow stoppage and it's, it's absolutely devastating. Another major uh, advantage and impact this is having is actually if you, a digital record. So once a lab does a digital printed denture, they store that design file as a record. And so if something happens to that denture, they can just pull that file up and reproduce it very quickly without the patient even having to go back to the dentist. So what digital production of dentures allows, if we just focus the lens on that product, it allows less appointments for the initial denture. You can cut two to three appointments out. So you go from six appointments for that patient to maybe three or four. And then once it's created, you have a record on file. The patient doesn't have to go back to the dentist. Something that really, really excites me because being in the industry for so long and seeing this transition to get to this point is pretty, something I'm pretty proud of and, and happy about, so. 
If viewers want to learn a little bit more about dental applications for 3D printing, visit us at carbon3d.com. You can also contact Jamie. He's our resident expert on dental 3D printing and subscribe to Ask an Additive Expert on YouTube. Thanks so much, Jamie. Thank you so much for having me.